Okay, welcome to uh, my YouTube channel. Kuna watu ambao wananiuliza sana kuhusiana na indicator gani? Yaani watu wa, especially this week watu wengi wamekuwa wakiniuliza maswali ya indicators. Kwamba kuna mmoja aliniuliza indicator ya volume ni nzuri. Mwingine akaniuliza ni indicator gani unaitumia kufanya confirmation? Mwingine uh, aliniuliza uh, aliniuliza alikuwa anaangalia RSI nadhani oversold na over bought kwamba akiangalia time frame fulani anakutana na 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 na, na overbought akiangalia time frame nyingine anakutana na oversold zinakuwa zinamchanganya sasa akawa anauliza je ni time frame gani ambayo ni nzuri kuitumia ambayo itaku, ambayo itakuwa inampa majibu mbosa hii mimi nilichomwambia nilimwambia aende akafanye majaribio unajua kuna tofauti ya forex is, kuna bookish forex forex ambayo kila mtu anaijua yani forex ambayo imeandikwa kwenye vitabu ila kuna forex ambayo unaweza ukaisoma wewe kwa kufanya back testing kwa kuangalia chati yako inafanya nini na kama unahitaji ku, ku, kujua the way ambavyo uh, maybe a certain pair inatembea sio vizuri kufanya ile bookish kwa sababu kuna kuna some some pairs utakuta zinafanya hata kama ni retesting zinafanya au pullback zinafanya deep pullback yani zinarudi ndani kidogo alafu ndio zinaendelea kwenye ile direction. Sio zote zitakuwa zinafanya hivyo. Maana hicho kitu utakigundua kwenye pair fulani, okay? That's why uh, some people wanakuta wana trade only some few pairs. Pair fulani. Hiyo huyo inaonyesha wazi kwamba hafanyi ile bookish forex. Hafanyi forex ambayo ni ya kwenye vitabu tu. Huyo kakaa kwenye chat kaisoma. Utasoma kwenye vitabu at the end of the day, ukitaka kuja kugundua your own system, lazima utafanya you are research lazima utafanya back testing bila back testing uwezi ukawa na your system ya ku trade na ukitaka kuwa ku, 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 no maana unaweza ukakuta you are using the same price action na mwingine anatumia price action ile ile lakini matokeo yako na yake ni tofauti wewe pengine unatumia price action ambayo ulisoma lakini this guy anatumia price action ambayo aliifanyia research kwenye chat aliifanyia back testing na akaona kwake kwa style hii ina favor so ukija kwenye swala la indicators pia uh, most of time wasishauri watu watumie indicators hasa kama unaanza this business kwa sababu most of the people ambao wanatumia indicators wanakuwa wanatafuta the easiest way ya ku trade wanakuwa wanatafuta njia rahisi zaidi ambayo anaweza akaitumia kupata entry na mwisho wa siku ndanaenda kuangukia hizo indicator kama RSI hizo na CCI and other kind of indicators sisemi kwamba indicators sio nzuri you can use some indicators Okay. Hata mimi natumia indicator in one of my only in a single single pair yani pair moja sio pair kwanza ni niseme court okay sawa so, niite as court in a single court peke yake hapo ndo natumia indicators peke yake because huwa nikiifanyia uh, price action and other vitu vingine naona kama ina inazingua kwa hiyo mimi that is mimi inanifiti hivyo Mtu mwingine anaweza akakwambia kwamba yeye price action hiyo hiyo kwake ndio inamfit, unaelewa? Tuna tofautiana sana. And therefore unapokuwa unakuja unauliza swali kwa mtu, indicator gani nzuri? Indica... No no no, it's not about indicator kuwa nzuri au kutotumia indicator. Ni swala la wewe umefanya back testing, umejaribu. Upo are you out of bookish forex? Forex ya kwenye vitabu. Ume, ume, umefanya back testing ukaona kwamba okay, I think this favor. Lazima uwe na, na, na daftari unaandika somewhere kwamba hiki nimekiona kwenye hii currency kwenye hii session I think ngoja ni kesho tena muda huo utakuja ugundue some behaviors kwamba this time maybe kuna consolidation katika muda huu kuna na momentum kubwa okay that is the only way ya wewe kujua how how you can be you can be you can be profitable and therefore si wakatazi kutumia indicators lakini as a beginner usitumie indicators kama the way ya wewe kupata the easiest way ya ku at the beginner lakini kama unatumia indicators lazima ufahamu kwamba uh, a lot of indicators zinaanisha kuwa accurate hapana na most of time unapokuwa unachanganya indicators nyingi the more unajichanganya wewe pia kwa ni bora ukaijua because hata anaitumia indicator price action lazima anaijua hiyo ni constant lazima uone unajua price kama ujui price action kwenye forex still inakuwa ni changamoto kwa hata huyo mtu ambaye anatumia hizo BTMM sio all the 
those kind of strategies zote lazima wanaijua hii hi price action naked price action so that is very very hiyo ni, ni kitu cha msingi msingi sana kwenye kwenye unapokuwa unafanya unafanya analysis au backtesting